Okay, so Activision, they don't make perfect games on purpose. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? No, 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 no. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode five of the Nostalgia Podcast. Jake here. It's your boy, James. It, it's clap. And today's the video game edition. And Before we go on, uh -huh. why did you steal my intro? It's like I was going to do it better this time. You always do it. Don't you want to change your pace? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we got to do things to Whatever. see what the viewers like. Whatever. Okay, favorite video game. What is it? Of all time. Of all time. Fortnite. When? When Fortnite? Like, you can't just say like, Fortnite. Uh, you see, like, there's some periods when it's been really bad and unplayable, but... Yes. I, Fortnite. <laughs> you're saying, yeah, like, what? Just, like, forever. <laughs> yeah, no, there's been <laughs> trash parts of Fortnite. No, but, like, when it first came out to about season four, it was all really good, okay. and then it's been spotty from there. Good I seasons, do. bad <clears throat> seasons. Yeah. You know? Right now, it's actually playable. All of chapter two is terrible. Yes. I agree. Chapter 2 was really bad. Start and like the first, uh, season 10 or X. Season X, X. Yeah, season X was really bad. Yeah. yeah, I agree. What's yours? Fortnite also? Yeah, same thing with him. Mm -hmm. But it's actually playable again. Like, it's actually fun to get mm -hmm. on there and play now. So. Yeah. Then my four year old cousin played the same thing because <laughs> Fortnite's for kids. Um, <clears throat> Call of Duty, Black Ops 2 specifically, but Fortnite can't beat the Call of Duty series. As a fear. But, okay, we'll stick with Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, greatest, <clears throat> my favorite game of all time. Really? Really. That and Skyrim, stay in top two. <clears throat> yeah. Are they perfect? Are they perfect? Now, not Black Ops 2, <clears throat> but Skyrim, it's close. I would, mm -hmm. the only thing holding it back is the graphics then. Yeah. You know? Like, it's hard to go back and play because the graphics then. But they weren't bad for this time. Right, and they were remade, so like... <clears throat> I have, like, just recently started playing Skyrim again, and I'm having so much fun. Mm -hmm. I like, mods and everything keep you updated. You ever played Skyrim? <clears throat> it's a good game. Very well, good I played game. a little bit of it. I never got into it. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't get into it either. It's kind of like a medieval Destiny, but single player. That's how I yeah. description it. <clears throat> yeah. Did you ever you know any perfect games? Because Fortnite's not perfect, right? No, Fortnite will not be perfect. Ever? I think at a time it was, but with how they managed it, they really messed it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's hard to, a game that's that long, it's hard to stay perfect because yeah. people want something new. So you're like, okay, it's perfect right now, but mm -hmm. we want more stuff, so you can't really keep it balanced so well. But yeah, once they get that new stuff, people want it back to out. Yeah, and then the, right. yeah, the player base ruined Fortnite. Like nostalgia. Yeah. yeah it's nostalgia, yeah. yeah. But the player base of Fortnite, everyone was like, new map, this is boring. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get new map. I hate this map. Go back old map. We won Tilted again. Yeah. Oh, Tilted again. Came out, didn't it? It is just, back. Just came back. It did. Mm -hmm. Y'all played it since it came out? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I played it for one night. It was mm -hmm. pretty fun. Had a good time, actually. Yeah. I don't really play Fortnite anymore. I don't really like it anymore, mm -hmm. but I played with James the other night, remember? We yeah. were over here. We played like four games. Then got tilted once because everyone's dropping there. Yeah, everyone. Every single person. And it's kind of changed now. Everybody's kind of <clears throat> dropping back to other places because yeah. whenever we played the other night, it wasn't a whole. It wasn't people. as bad. Yeah. Really. But whenever it first came back out, you or you could not land there for like the first two days. It was terrible. It was really bad. You know that sounds awful. Oh, uh, sticking with Fortnite. Did y'all have a favorite season? <sighs> season two. Season two. That's when Tilted first came out. Chubbies came out. Is it good? S season two, like. <clears throat> See, everyone was like, knew the game was fun in season one. Right. Season two, they were like, okay, we need to take this seriously now. And they did so many things to improve the game. Yeah, I remember being so bored of the map. Like, I need somewhere to drop. And they were like, tilted. They were tilted. Mm -hmm. they had a yeah, there's just that like huge open Slaughter. spot in the middle of the map. There's nothing was there. So mm -hmm. yeah. There's just hills and mountains. Yeah. They did really good with season two. I'd say my favorite, though, is season three. Um, that was when they did the improved battle pass. Season 2 had one, but it was like really hard to do because they didn't do challenges correctly. Season 3 did that. They added more places, and I think that's when Fortnite became really popular with Season 3. Yeah. Like, it was getting there, but then everyone started playing it around that time. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. It went from a small game to a really big game. Yeah. Just revolutionized everything. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, do you think Fortnite's the most revolutionary game of all time? Change the entire video Absolutely. Game? Yes. Like, Especially for, like, Battle Royales. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because, like, most of these battle royales you see now would not exist. Apex, Warzone. Really? They, they wouldn't be here. And you see how those are free? That's because of Fortnite. 
I agree with the free part, but I think H one Z one's the game that started all the battle royales. Mm -hmm. And H one Z one started they started as a survival game, then branched off to a battle royale, right. which that's where Ninja mm -hmm. first got his big basis mm -hmm. after Halo. And then it branched over to um uh, PUBG, because the guy who yeah. made H one Z one quit, then went and started his own player known unknown background. Mm -hmm. What's his name? See H one Z one definitely <clears throat> Led the way, but mm -hmm. then Fortnite, I think it made the Just battle royale scene explode. I because I, I don't think Warzone is made if just H one Z one is there. Yeah, I agree. Because did you know H one Z one wasn't even the first battle royale? No. Because if you really want to, I mean, Minecraft came out, but also I think it was all because of uh, DayZ. DayZ had a battle royale that everyone played, and that's where Player Unknown said he got his ideas from because he made those. I mean, Brain Shop's pretty cool, but so do you think there's been a perfect uh, Battle Royale game? Or do you think Fortnite's the most perfect game? I, see, the two Battle Royale games that I really, really enjoyed were mm -hmm. Fortnite mm -hmm. and Warzone. Yep. It, you didn't play Apex? Uh, not really. I played it when it first came out. Just a little just, bit. Kind of just stopped playing it. It's just not as appealing to me. I don't know what it is about it, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, Warzone was really fun at one point. <laughs> Yeah. But now it's just, I can't do the new map. Yeah. Do you not like the new guns, or you just like the new map? Both. Yes. You want to hear something crazy I've heard about Activision and the perfect games? What? Okay, so, Activision. They don't make perfect games on purpose. Crazy, I know. But you just said that Black Ops 2 was... Perfect. See, I think it branched from Black Ops 2. So I think they found out, they made Black Ops 2 so perfect, yeah. that when they came out with Ghost, it wouldn't sell. Because everybody was like, why would I switch when this game's so fun? That makes sense. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so they had it, everyone buy Black Ops 2, and they're like, okay, we'll make this next game. Everyone will be hyped to get it. But then they're like, no, we're just going to stick with this game that we already I, love. And it's so hard. Like, It took time for Black Ops 2 to be so great and perfect. They updated it. <clears> so <throat> people went to a game that wasn't as polished and done. They went there, and they're like, this isn't perfect. Like We're used and to perfection. They immediately stopped playing. I like with exactly. the new Modern Warfare. I was so good and nobody wants to play Cold War or Vanguard or anything like that they still just keep playing yeah Modern Warfare, Warfare 2019 has been the yeah. most fun Call of Duty for me in recent yeah, years I, I right. agree. so uh, like Cold War last year they didn't do it for me because I wanted I just wanted to play Modern Warfare instead this year Vanguard it's not doing it for me because mm -hmm. I just think Modern Warfare is better yeah no I agree so that's like I think the next couple of Call of Duties are going to suck I think they've really hurt themselves so they're going to keep going with this bad pace and where you're going to keep hoping for greatness, and it's going to go. I think that's why it's Call of Duty Vanguard. Sniping so bad, and they won't fix it. It's so bad. Yeah, like, they know. Like, you're telling me those people that their lives are the video game don't know why people don't like it? Yeah, they definitely hear things from the community. They, exactly. they know their audience. Yeah, what's the point in making people happy that already bought the game? Because mm -hmm. at this point, people that are going to buy it, they're not going to because they know. Like, they just got their money and said, yeah, we don't care anymore. Heck exactly. with it. You know? And they're going to promise good sniping the next game. They probably will have something good, but then like some machine guns will be OP or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. something or like ARs it. or shotguns or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't the next Call of Duty Modern Warfare two? Yeah, I think it is next Call of Duty. See, that could be good yeah. if it's anything yeah. like the one they just made a couple years ago. But I don't know. Yeah. No. Also, did you hear about um, Microsoft buying Blizzard and Activision? Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen that. I did not have seen yeah, that. Yeah, no. It was like what, like. It was a couple billion dollars, right? Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. Sure. It was the biggest purchase in the metaverse, or whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that's going to be good for Call of Duty? Or Activision? It doesn't... Don't PlayStation players right now get more benefits with Call of Duty stuff? Mm -hmm. Like, they get stuff early? Yeah, a month early, I'm pretty sure. So, wouldn't... Is that gonna now going to be Xbox players getting that now? Yeah, that's tough. I don't know. I... Last thing I heard is the Sony owner said Microsoft's going to respect their licensing. So I bet the next Call of Duty that'll come into effect, but not yet. Not yet. That's what I'm thinking. Which, so, it's kind of sad for the Sony owners right now. Plus, they can't get a new PlayStation, so. Mm -mm. Kind of tough. But, honestly, I don't think it's going to really do anything for the next games for another, like, yeah. 10 years. Because the people that are in Activision now, they're not changing. Mm -mm. Yeah. I, I don't think Microsoft's going to want to interfere too much, because Call of Duty's very successful. Yeah. So they're not going to try and overstep. Yeah. Hopefully that conspiracy will end now. Hopefully they'll start making perfect games all the time. Because that's good for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good for them. Maybe they'll keep going or something. 
Plus they make more money off of each one that they make. Yeah. Because people hear that they bought that game and they thought it was really good, so they're going to be like, all right, I'll give it a try. And mm -hmm. They're going to like it and play it, you know, maybe do, like, in-game purchases. Yeah. Get them more money. Mm -hmm. I agree, because they go back to, like, the DLC stuff where yeah. you can buy a season pass for $45, right? Or Black Ops 2, yeah. you get a season pass. So maybe if they're worried about money, put in something like that. Because I would pay the extra 45 yeah. for a perfect game. Mm -hmm. Is that all they yeah. Okay. That's about all I get. Yeah, that's all of our video game ideas, honestly. Yeah. All right. Thank y'all for watching. <laughs> Please let let us know what you think. Yeah, we like talking about video games. So if y'all like hearing about it, we will definitely make more video game videos. Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Get the cash out down below. Get the cash of course. We need a mic bad. Yeah. We're hurting for a mic. Twenty five dollars if we want a donation. Thank y'all. Every every dollar will help. Every dollar will help. Or hundreds of dollars. Absolutely. But we'll see y'all next video. Y'all have a good night or day. Peace out. Peace. Uh...